Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at leak code problem number 53, maximum subarray. Given an integer array nums, find the subarray with the largest sum and return its sum. If we look at this input array nums over here, the subarray with the maximum sum is actually right here. Four, negative one, two, and one. So four minus one is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus one is six. Now you might ask, why didn't we extend out to negative five and four? It's because negative five plus four is negative one, and it'll actually lower the sum to five instead of six. If we have an input with just one element, then the largest sum is just that element. And a subarray could actually be the entire array as well. So in this example, the subarray with the maximum sum is actually the entire array. That's possible as well. So we're going to start out this algorithm keeping track of two variables. One variable is called the max sum. This is going to be the global maximum sum that we return at the end of the algorithm. And so this is initialized to negative infinity at first. And then we also have the current sum. The current sum is going to keep track of the current prefix sum as we iterate through the array. And this is going to make more sense once we go through the example. So let's get started. The first element is negative two, right? So I'm going to say, okay, current sum is equal to current sum plus num. Let's add this num that we just saw into the current sum to keep track of it. Now current sum is negative two. Now the next step is we're going to have to update the maximum sum, right? So is negative two greater than negative infinity? It is, and that's actually why we initialize it to negative infinity, since any value will be larger than that. So let's update the maximum sum if the current sum is greater than the maximum sum. So let's update that to negative two. Our current sum is negative two, which is a negative number. We're interested in the maximum sum for a subarray in this array. If we know that we're a net negative, does it make sense to carry this negative with us? No, it actually doesn't, right? Instead of starting at negative two, we could start at one and we'll have a, a sum of positive one as opposed to a sum of negative two plus one, which is negative one. And so in this case, what we're going to do in the iteration is that if, if curse sum is ever negative, we're going to reset curse sum to zero. And what this does is that it essentially allows us to ignore the current element and start or scan a new subarray at the next element. And so in this case, current sum is equal to negative two. We're going to reset curse sum to zero. It's better to be zero than to be negative two. And then we're going to move on to the next element. And this is kind of the approach we're going to take at every iteration. So now I'm at one. Current sum is zero, so we change it to one. And now we ask ourselves, is one greater than negative two? It is. So we have to update the maximum sum to one. So let's update the maximum sum to one. And now, in this case, are we going to reset curse sum to zero? No, we're not, because positive one is better than being a negative. If you take one and add it to any other positive number, you're always going to end up with a greater sum, right? So we only reset uh, the negative values for curse sum. Now let's go to negative three. So now we're effectively looking at the subarray one, negative three, right? Because we reset curse sum at negative two. Now we're at negative three. Curse sum is equal to one minus three, which is negative two. And now we have to ask ourselves, is negative two greater than max sum? It isn't. So max sum remains one, but curse sum is negative. So we need to reset curse sum. So let's make it zero. And the reason why we reset this is because you should think about this as we just looked at the subarray from one to negative three, which was negative two. We're a net negative. Does it ever make sense to take negative two, one, negative three, or one, negative three, it doesn't make sense to start your subarray with those values because you're always gonna end up with a negative sum, which will lower your sum of a subarray. We're only looking for positive values. So we move on to, to the next element, which is four. Cur sum is now zero plus four, which is four. This is greater than the maximum sum. So we update the max sum to four. It's gonna match cur sum, and we don't reset cur sum because it's greater than zero. Now we go on to the next element, which is negative one. Curse sum is now four minus one, which is three. And we move on along because three is less than four, which is the global max sum. We don't update anything. Now we're at two. Curse sum is going to be three plus two, which is five. Now is five greater than four, which is the max sum? It is. So let's update the max sum. Max sum is now five. 
and then we're done the algorithm, right? So the max subarray sum is five. Now the time complexity of this algorithm is O of N and the space complexity is O of one because we only have two variables that we keep track of, the global max sum and the current sum. All right, so let's code out the solution. First, we need a global max variable that's initialized to negative infinity. Then we need a current sum, which is gonna be zero. Now for every num in nums, we're gonna say cur sum plus equal num. So we're gonna add the current number to the current sum. Then we're gonna say the global max is equal to max between the global max and the current sum to keep track of the global max to return back the result when we're done. And lastly, this is kind of like the greedy approach in the algorithm. If the current sum is less than zero, then we reset current sum equal to zero. So we don't let it go past into negative values because that's gonna reduce the sum of the overall subarray. And now we're just gonna return the global max. Let's run this. And it succeeds. Thank you so much. If you're interested in more LeetCode questions and the entire Blind75 list, feel free to subscribe and like the video. It helps a lot. And thank you so much for your support.